Okay, hi there, welcome to the second of three videos in our Head Start series, just thinking about some of the key uh, factors influencing share prices. So can you think of three factors that might influence a company's share price in the stock market? Take a moment to press the pause button on the video and write down three factors. In particular, think about the factors that are within the company's control and think about maybe a factor which is outside a company's control. In other words, internal and external factors. So what do you think are some of the key factors that influence whether a company's share price goes up or goes down in the market? Well, I asked you to think about factors within a company's control and also those that are essentially external to that. Thinking about those influences within the control of the company, one must be, crucially, the financial performance of the business. You know, taking into account things like profitability, but also whether those profits are sustainable, uh, persistent, uh, predictable over time. Is it a company that makes a, a good rate of return every year? If you think about a business like Pepsi, PepsiCo, essentially it makes 40 cents on the dollar for every, dev, uh, every dollar of revenue it brings in. It's a, it's a highly profitable business and those profits pretty much are the same from year to year. Other businesses have a much more variable, uncertain financial performance, and that could impact on the share price. Second key factor within their control is their dividend policy. Are they a business that offers a generous allocation of profits to shareholders every year? In which case, that could be a good stock to buy from an income point of view. Or are, is, the, is the aim of the business to make profits, but actually to reinvest those profits in the business uh, pay out relatively meagre dividends in the short term, hoping that reinvested profits have an impact on the long-term value of the company. A third key internal factor is the relationship a business has with key investors. Do they have good communications? Are they able to articulate the objectives, the strategic vision of a business to key retail investors, including institutional investors, such as pension funds and insurance companies? So communication is really important, particularly the role of the CEO in articulating that vision, if you like, a storytelling role they often have. And fourthly, I think the share price often does uh, carry some weight based on the management reputation within the industry. Is the management regarded as best in breed in terms of peer review? Are they well established, well regarded? Do they have that sense of being able to turn around a business if, if times worsen? Often, if management reputation diminishes, the share price will fall. Now, what about factors outside a company's control, if you like, external factors, which can certainly have an impact on the share price? Well, some stocks, the share price is closely linked to the economic cycle. Uh, so, for example, uh, growth stocks, if an economy is doing well, and incomes and spending and output and jobs are going up, uh, some stocks, go; they rise with the cycle. They rise with the tide, if you like. Other stocks are oftentimes more exposed to external shocks. If we think about the global pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic and the economic crisis, that is clearly one of the biggest external shocks we've ever had, certainly in my lifetime, undoubtedly probably in your lifetime. That's a big external shock. Some businesses have suffered really badly as a result of that external shock to demand. Other businesses actually have done well. The share price has gone up. They're exposed to the shock, but the shock has actually amplified. It's increased their revenues, increased their potential profitability. Share price is often impacted by general market sentiment, whether it's a bull market where share prices are rising, more buyers than sellers, or whether it's a bear market where share prices are falling, there are more sellers than buyers. Keynes, of course, the Keynes... Famous economist Keynes called this animal spirits. Are investors, broadly speaking, optimistic about the, about the future? Or do they have a, a dose and a feeling of pessimism, in which case share prices tend to fall? And I've put the final external factor in a different colour because it's critical. Oftentimes the share price of a business is influenced heavily by whether the company is a takeover target. If you have a potential acquisition, your company is the subject of a takeover bid, the acquiring company has to buy at least 50.1% of your shares and nearly always a takeover bid leads to an increase 
in the value of your company's shares as the acquiring company looks to get the shares it needs. There's actually one type of stock which is really quite interesting, particularly as we're thinking about uh, the economics of recession and the crisis associated with the pandemic. And that is the concept of counter cyclical stocks. Now, these refer to the shares of companies that outperform or even go up when the macro economy is going into a downturn or a recession. And oftentimes you want some counter cyclical stocks in your portfolio because if an economy goes into a downturn, their share price may actually hold up quite nicely or even go up. Counter cyclical stocks are good diversifiers. Now, in the third video in our series on the stock market, we're going to set you the higher or lower challenge. We're going to give you 10 stocks and ask you whether the share price has gone up or gone down since the 1st of March 2020. So check that third video out, which is the next in our series.